So, in the last video, we moved on to equations that require more than one step to solve. Now, we're going to do equations where you have an x on both sides. So, it's similar to the standard multi-step equation with x on one side. Let's start with a fairly simple problem. 2x equals x plus 3. So now instead of just moving the numbers between different sides, we're going to move the x over to the other side, move this x over to the left side, and it will become a negative x. So 2x minus x equals x. And you have 3 on the other side, so x equals 3. Same thing here, 3x equals 4x plus 5. Move the 4x to the other side, it becomes negative, so 3x minus 4x equals negative x. Now, this is essentially just a negative 1 over here, so we can multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. And the, sides of the signs of both sides change, so x equals negative 5. Okay, 2x equals negative 3x minus 5. Move the 3x over, it becomes positive, so 5x equals negative 5 x equals negative 1. And now negative 3x minus 7 equals negative x. Negative x moves over here, becomes positive. Negative 2x equals negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 2. x equals 7 over 2. All right, now Let's move on to equations where we have an x and a regular number on both sides. So 2x plus 3 equals 5x plus 6. Okay, so now what we want to do here is get all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So 2x minus 5x equals negative 3x. And then the other side, 6 minus 3 equals 3. So x equals negative 1. Negative 3x minus 4 equals 7x plus 10. Same thing here. Move the 7x over. Negative 10x equals 14x equals negative 14 over 10, which is negative 7 over 5. Negative 7x equals 10x minus 5 plus 2x. So now we have three different sets of x here. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's do it one at a time. The 10x moves over here, becomes a negative, so it's negative 17x. Then the 2x moves over, and makes it negative 19x. x equals 5 over 19. Okay, now we got a lot here. 8x minus 3 plus x equals negative 5 minus 9x plus 7. All right. Um, here what I recommend doing is simplify on each side first, since you have a lot of stuff here. So 8x plus x is 9x minus 3 equals, and here you, see you just add these together. Negative 5 plus 7 is 2. So this will be negative 9x plus 2. Now you can just move the negative 9x over here. So you have 18x equals 5. x equals 5 over 18. All right, now let's throw in some fractions. 
negative 3 over 2x equals 4 over 7x plus 11 over 14. So, just like in the last video, we want to get rid of these fractions, so we're going to multiply everything by the least common multiple, which is 14 here. So, negative 3 over 2 times 14 is negative 21. 4 sevenths of 14 is 8 plus 11 over 14 times 14 is 11. And now we get negative 29x equals 11. x equals negative 11 over 29. Okay. Let's turn the page here. And let's do a decimal problem. Negative 0.3x plus 0 0.4 equals 0.07x plus 8. All right, so again, I think the easiest thing is instead of multiplying by 100 and trying to get rid of everything, just multiply by 10. That works good enough. Negative 3x plus 4 equals 0.7x plus 8. Subtract the 0.7x. Move it to the other side. Negative 3.7x equals 4. Uh, now you can multiply by 10 again. Get rid of that decimal. And x equals negative 40 over 37. All right, now we're going to do something a little different. 4x plus 3, the whole thing over 2, plus 5 equals 10x over 3, plus 1 fourth. All right, so in this one, this is kind of like, these are just big fractions. That's all they are. So. Lowest common multiple, we have 3, 4, and 2. That's going to be 12. So we want to multiply everything by 12. So here's how to think of this. We multiply this whole thing, 4x plus 3 over 2. Multiply that by 2. The divide by 2 will go away. So to get it to times 12, we just have to multiply the numerator by 6. So this will become 24x plus 18. 5 times 12 is 60. Now here, to get to times 12, we multiply by 3, which gets rid of the over 3. Then times 4 gets us to 12, so it'll be 10x times 4, which is 40x, and 1 fourth of 12 is 3. Okay. Um, 24x bring over the 40x so it'll be negative 16x 3 minus 60 is negative 57 minus 18 is negative 75 x equals 75 over 16 okay now we're going to use the distributive property and if you remember what that is, that's when you have a number on the outside there. And these are not too hard, just extra steps. Because you have to do, whoops, let's make that minus 4. Okay. So first thing you want to do here is just distribute the numbers on the outside. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9, plus 5x, plus 5 times 2, which is 10, equals 9x minus 4. Again, a lot of stuff here. You might just find it easier to simplify on one side first, like that. Bring over the 9x.
and there you go that is distributive property all right let's bring back in the fractions along with the distributive property so combining everything that we're learning now okay so distribute out the numbers to the fraction negative three times one half x is negative three over two x negative three times three fourths is negative nine fourths two fifths times negative x is negative two fifths x seven times two fifths is fourteen over five all right now we want to get rid of these fractions what is the lowest common multiple of five five four and two it's going to be twenty so negative three over two times twenty well, it's just 20 times 1 and a half negative, so negative 30x. Okay, here we have um, 9 over 4. You might want to convert that to a mixed number in your head. That's 2 and a quarter, so 20 times 2 and a quarter is 45. Negative 2 fifths of 20 is negative 8. Now here, that trick I showed you where multiplying by 5 gets rid of the divide by 5 here then multiply by 4 to get 5 times 4 equals 20 so 14 times 4 is 56 okay negative 22x equals 56 plus 45 101 So I'm giving you some pretty challenging mental math exercises here. Having to convert to 14 over 5 times 20 and 56 plus 45. And, but I think it's good practice to do problems with harder numbers like that. You really understand what you're doing. All right, so for the next set of problems, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to get a different type of answer and you will see what I mean once we do these okay so first things first simplify out these parentheses over here And then simplify on the left side to make this a little easier. And you'll see something a little bit strange here. We have the exact same thing on both sides. So what this means is that really x could be anything because we put in substitute any number for x and this equation will be true. So that means we have infinite solutions because x could be any number at all and the equation would be true okay now let's try something else where we won't get just one solution like a normal equation here I'll make this one extra challenging put in some fractions, some decimals, distributive stuff, okay so, easiest thing to do here first is, once again, simplify out the parentheses. So, negative 2 times 3 8x will be 6 over 8x, which is negative 3 fourths x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2, positive 2. And now, to get rid of this fraction over here, we're going to multiply the entire equation by 4. That'll get rid of this fraction over here, too. So negative 3x minus 4 over 4 times 4 is just negative 3x minus 4. 2.5 times 4 is 10. Negative 3 fourths times 4 is negative 3. And 2 times 4 is 8. 
Okay. Simplify this side over here. And now you'll see something else strange. We have negative 3x on both sides, but a different number. Here we're saying negative 3x plus 6 is equal to negative 3x plus 8. And that is impossible. There's no way that adding 6 to negative 3x could be the same as adding 8 to negative 3x. So since this is impossible, there is no solution to this equation. There's no number you could substitute in for x. That would make the equation true. And with those two different types of solutions, we have finished solving linear equations. So if you can solve all of these problems here, fractions, decimals, distributive property, no solution, infinite solution, all this stuff, then you are pretty good with solving linear equations, which, by the way, is one of the most important things in algebra. It comes up in pretty much every unit.